This is our first full day in Sydney and I'm so sick <laughs> but we've got a few things that we need to do today so we need to get our sim cards we need to try and open a bank account I need to sort my visa out because god knows what's happening with that and we also need to get our Medicare cards first things first we're gonna get our sim cards because I need to call the Australian something office <laughs> uh, in order to figure out what's happening with my visa. Next step would be getting your TFN number. Jordan's already done hers online uh, and basically when you get it you just need to wait 28 days for a letter to come but if you call them up they will give it to you straight away. <laughs> literally walked one minute from our hostel and the bus stops here. It's about a 20 minute bus to go to Broadway shopping centre which is where we're going to sort the phones out and get some lunch hopefully, have like a nice sandwich or something. The shopping centre we're looking for to do our phones is open about 20 minutes so we've just come to get a coffee. We've come to Lotus Story and we've ordered a latte. And you got free water for the table. There's just on here already. What's that? I don't know if that's just an Australian thing or. Oh, it costs five dollars. <laughs> oh, yeah, we might have to pay for it yet. I don't know. <laughs> it smells lovely. But this is the first. It doesn't have a handle. <laughs> it's fine. <hard. laughs> gonna have to wait till it's cooled down a lot. We've been told by a lot of people that Australia is expensive, but obviously we come from England, which is also very expensive. But then, as we've just been from Thailand, everything seems very expensive. However, that coffee was, both those coffees was $5, and that's actually not that bad. It's quite a little bit cheaper than England, so we're hoping it carries on that way. sorted our phones out so we've gone up with Vodafone it was quite a cheap deal it was $60 uh, for 300 gigabytes of data uh, we got a little bit of a discount because we both did it on the same account uh, we do get some free calls to England and it's unlimited calls and texts in Australia We've done a rolling month contract, which means that we can change it because we don't know how good the coverage is going to be in different places if we want to travel around. So we can always cancel it and go with someone else. But for now, we've gone for the cheapest option because that's all, all we can afford, really. One of my friends was in Australia for a couple of years. She told us about bin chickens. I believe that's what they are with the black beaks. <laughs> this is our day two of uh, being in Sydney. I am properly sick. Uh, I basically slept all day yesterday when we got back from uh, doing our phone contracts. And uh, yeah, I'm not too good. It's about half past nine, we check out at 10. We're moving to our next Airbnb, which has kindly said we can check in at any time today. We're staying with somebody in their home, so we'll see what that's like. Gotta take linen down to reception and we check out. Just having a drink before we check into our next place. She did say we could check in at any time today, but I don't want to take the mic and just arrive really early, 
so just waiting around for a bit. We are currently waiting for an Uber. So our Uber will take us about 20 minutes to a bus stop and then we can get a bus which will be about 45 minutes straight to the Airbnb. We could have got an Uber straight there but we're trying to save some money. gone from our hostel to our Airbnb. It's quite nice, it's very homely. We've done our food shop in Aldi. It was $50, we only got a few little bits, trying to eat as cheaply as possible. We've spent ages trying to look for a camper van. Not had much luck, unfortunately. But now we're just going for a little walk around and there's some really nice scenery. We've got a lake here, we've got some parks, so we're just gonna have a little wander around. we've had a couple of days here and honestly it feels a bit like a cross between England and America so we're loving it it's awesome we've just come for a short walk just to see what's around in the local area there are a lot of flies that just are attracted to me for some reason here which I've heard is a problem in Australia there's lots of flies so yeah we're just waiting I'm still trying to sort my visa out uh, it's the weekend so we can't do anything and basically just having a little explore so we are really enjoying it here and I think it could be quite cool to stay here for a bit of time <laughs> <laughs> camera <laughs> expect birds insects flowers maybe the occasional shot of me <laughs> good morning from Sydney hello <laughs> it's our third day here it's Sunday today uh, obviously we'd still need to sort a lot of things out bank Medicare uh, and tax file number I can't do, Jordan's done hers. Still waiting to hear back from my visa. Uh, so today, whilst we wait for all the offices to open again on Monday before we can do anything else, we're just gonna go and explore the local area. Yesterday we went and saw a park and today we're gonna go see a couple more. So, plus the weather is Mwah. Lovely. How no, nice is it? There's no cloud in the sky. But what I will say is last night, I mean, we've been in a thunderstorm in Asia, which I thought was bad. <laughs> but it was bad here last night, like constant, and the lightning struck literally just outside the house. So I'm going to go and see if there's some burnt grass or something to show you, because that was loud. So in Australia, they don't have as much, or they don't have any ozone layer, so the sun is really dangerous. So you need to make sure you put lots and lots of sun cream on. Always wear sun cream. about the parks in Australia is a lot of them have a water refill station.
screw you. You cracked it there. So we are at the bus stop waiting to go to the shopping centre. We've got a few bits that we need to buy. It's Monday now, so today Jordan's going to call the ATO office uh, to try and get her tax number. I still need to wait for my visas to sort themselves out. So I can't do anything. We are heading to the ride shopping centre. We're going to get a coffee. I feel like we're just playing a bit of a waiting game at the moment. I'm waiting for someone to get back to me about a caravan outfitting. Jason's waiting back to get his visa. So we've come to the shopping centre to get a few bits and we've decided to get a coffee and it looks amazing. We've got a caramel latte and it was $12 in total. It's not it's cheaper than England. <laughs> And it's nice, <laughs> that's nice. Just gonna kill some time, have a look around all the shops. So we're not going mad, just indoors all the time. And then we'll get back to work later. Cheers, thank you. Thank you. Travel adapter bolt. We came to like JB Hi-Fi and it's $12.50. Which is not bad, but basically the travel adapter we've got is so big and bulky that when you put it in the wall it just falls out. So hopefully this one will be a little bit better. It's about three in the afternoon and we haven't actually eaten anything yet, apart from having drunk a coffee. So we've decided to get some food. Fish and chips look amazing and for a drink, the fish, the chips, you get a lemon wedge and tartar sauce. It was $9.95 each. It was the cheapest thing here. <laughs> it looks amazing. They're not your typical fish and chips of chips, but they're really nice. They're like fluffy inside and crispy on the outside. That's really nice actually. Really hot inside. <laughs> <laughs> so I've finally got an email back now and I am able to apply for my TFN number, which means in the future I'll be able to work. <laughs> yeah. Never thought you'd be happy about that. I never thought I would be happy about being able to get a job, but there we go. Tonight we are off to the pub. <laughs> Our Airbnb hostess, she's actually gone away for a few days, but she's said that we can tag along to her trivia team. So they're expecting us, they're gonna come find us. <laughs> and we're gonna put, do a pub quiz with her friends. So hopefully we'll get to know some more Australian people, get some connections. It'll be a really fun night. And we're going a tiny bit early because from four till six, it is happy hour. So we're gonna get a schooner of beer. And it's five o'clock, so we've got to go now. Yeah, we've got to go now. <laughs> We are going to head to the Ride Shopping Centre to open our banks and there is a Medicare office right next to the centre so hopefully we can do that at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> right, unfortunately we didn't film it. If you know me, you'll know that I don't really like bugs and insects and things. They do freak me out, which is I don't know why I come to Australia where there's loads of them that can kill you. But there was, I don't know, a stick insect or something hanging from the roof. And I saved him with like a big dry leaf. And <laughs> I don't know if he's come to say thank you. But there he is. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you can see his leg, but... It looks a bit damaged, but it was where he was ha he was hanging on for about two hours because I thought it was a branch, <laughs> and then I saw him spinning around. <laughs> so his legs are a bit damaged. We've just opened a nab account each 
Uh, it's just a normal like debit card. It will take five to seven working days for us to actually get our card through the mail. So you need a resident address for that to be sent to.